It's October 28th, and the rutcation starts now. Eleven o'clock, eleven fifteen. Rolling into camp. I was gonna be early. Yeah, it's gonna be really early. Considering we got a lot of work to do in the morning before it's even light. Let's get unpacked. Get the bed. Yes, let's do it. Friday morning, first day of vacation. We slept in this morning since it was downpouring, but now it's quarter after eight. We're out in the stand. We saw a big shooter on the way in. One of the neighbor's properties and a uh, fawn when we first got to our property. So they're starting to move, which is a good sign. And slight wind. Um, looks like my son's going into one of my shooting lanes, so I'm really going to hope that they come from the north. But I'm in the old oak tree with some scrapes, and hopefully, after all that storming, the big bucks are on their feet. It's starting to look for some scent, and they come check it out. So see what happens. So the first day at Rutcation, we uh, went and got the hotel motel squared away, dried off some of our clothes, because it was wet and rainy this morning. Uh, it was kind of a slow morning. I saw two yearling doe and saw that shooter on the way in, but that was it. We checked all the cards. The cards look really good. There's a lot of animals running around here after dark. Some during light, but a lot after dark still. So. Kelly's gonna be in a hot spot for sure. She's got two megas over by her that are dandies. So hopefully she can hear all through one of them. Need water?
Well, it was a race against the light tonight. Uh, had a buck down by the river plot. So I attempted to rattle, but he never made it to my plot by the time that it was still light out. And at least we know he's in here. So hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. Perhaps tomorrow I'll be sitting in the river plot in the morning versus uh, the old oak stand. We'll see what happens. Time to sleep on it. Second morning of the rutcation. Hopefully this morning goes a lot better than yesterday morning. Downpoured all yesterday morning. It sucked. Hopefully this morning they're all worked up, wanting to work up scrapes. Trying to find all that scent that got washed away. Fingers crossed one of us can get it done this morning. Well, it's Saturday morning. Had an eventful night last night. That nice ten pointer just wouldn't come in to seal the deal. Well, it's been a pretty quiet morning so far on a Saturday. Uh, really foggy and super quiet, so I haven't seen anything yet. It sounds like Arthur saw a doe in the fawn, but the sun's just coming out, so hopefully it'll burn off some of this fog and I can start seeing a little bit further. I haven't been able to see past the plot, but um, let's hope they start moving. Second day of the rutcation here for our, our farm in Vernon County. It was a really slow morning and then around 11 o'clock all hell broke loose. There was a nice nine pointer and a nice 10 pointer that have been chasing a door around. And now I see the 10 pointer and just walked with her into a bedding area to my south. That doe wants to come out here and feed in the food plot. And that buck won't let her because I got that decoy out here. So I'm going to try to quietly get down, grab that decoy, stash it off to the side, and get it away from the plot in hopes that that doe will come out here and feed and he'll let her. And he's going to follow her out here and give me a shot. So fingers crossed I can get down quietly and move it. And not blow him out of here, but we'll see. Alright, that worked perfect. Nothing blew out, nothing got up and moved. I took the decoy from the food plot and I actually moved it 20 yards behind me. So now it's about 50-ish, 50, 55 yards off the food plot. And I'm hoping that's enough of a buffer room for that doe to want to feed through the plot and drag that buck with her. But I decided to leave it up because if another buck cuts that hot track where that doe and that buck came from this morning out of the bedding area, out of the grass, they're going to see my decoy and think she's over here and come right to him. 
That should give me like a 20, 25, 30 yard shot at him if he does, so let's get it done today. That's a wrap on our second night here. The neighbor hit a really big one, so we might go help him track that. We're not sure yet. He's got to check his arrow. It sounds like he might have hit him a little high, but um, we might look for him in the morning too. Who knows? But either way, it was a slow night down here. A lot of does moving and uh, no bucks tonight. So I guess we'll get after him back in the morning. When you are in the market to purchase recreational, hunting, farmland, an existing or new construction home, call Hallworth Realty, a premier Wisconsin realty company with over 60 years of realty experience. Third morning of rotation. Yesterday afternoon, kind of sucked. Shut down around 2 o'clock, it got hot, deer didn't move. I saw a pile of does in the evening and that one buck. Uh, the neighbor across from us, across from river, unfortunately shot her hot doe and uh, she had a big buck on her. So that we kind of think we only had two hot does on our section anyways, and that was one of them. But it might help us in the long run because now that big buck is freed up and he's gonna be chasing, trying to find another hot doe. So. Instrument of death. Pretty much sucked. Um, he gave me the shot, and I just wasn't ready. I, he was taking so over, forever to get out of these trees, and I looked on the other side, and there he was, and I froze. Stupid. That was my one opportunity, and it blew it. So, um, Art's gonna get down. We're gonna go get some stuff to move that stand, get him closer, and pray that I get another chance at one. What a crazy morning so far. I got in the stand here and I was setting up. A doe came out in the food plot and busted me, started blowing. Right at first light, a big shooter eight was going around me in the dark, and I couldn't make him out. 
but when I put him in the binos, I could see him really clear, but I couldn't see him with like my human eye. He was like 80 yards away. Went around me, went in a big bedding area. I rattled him back in, went back in there. Went around me about a half hour later. This is all within like the first hour and a half now. Went down by Kelly, went past Kelly, and is now out checking bedding areas out in our grass. So I'm hoping he's gonna work his way around and one of us will get a shot in him. But unfortunately, Kelly did not get a shot in him. I didn't get a shot in him, but he's a really nice bug. Well, we had a little activity this morning before it got light out and then nothing. So we decided to switch stands and saw one little buck and then nothing again. So that is the end of Sarah's first bull hunt. Hopefully she can make it back up. She is doing a slow stalk back to the cabin. I'm going to grab the decoy and we're going to slowly clean up. We got down, hung a new stand, got that all situated because the last three out of four sits I've sat in my tower, I've seen a shooter buck take a certain trail down by the river. So he's coming out of our bedding and going down below me and hugging the river and we don't have a stand down there. So I hung that, well Kelly helped me too, but we hung that this morning when I got down after I got busted for the second time this morning um, where I was sitting. So we went and got some burlap. We wrapped my stand in burlap to try to cover me up more because in the midday and morning sun I'm just glowing like crazy up there and the deer is spotting me like mad. So we wrapped that with some burlap. I'm going to head back there and sit tonight. Tomorrow morning I'm going to go to sit in that new stand in hopes that uh, a buck takes it running again tomorrow morning. But Kelly's gonna head back to her stand. I left all my gear in my tower, so I have to walk back in and get it on So I was gonna sit in a different stand tonight, but I decided against it because it's gonna be too much of a hassle and it's starting to warm up. But tomorrow's gonna be really cold. So the deer are gonna move really good. It's gonna be a hard north wind. And uh, hopefully we can kill something tonight and we don't have to worry about it. But. That was a slow, unproductive night. I saw a doe and a fawn and a good shooter buck. And um, I lost my grunt call. So I sat there and just watched them go around me basically at, I don't know, 150 yards, 100 yards. We're actually driving back into the farm right now. I gotta get a different camera arm mount for the tree. I'm gonna go in this morning, or tomorrow morning, um, that we hung that new set in. So I need to get the tree mount out of it for the fourth arrow camera arm and then take it over to the new set. So I'm gonna do that right now. Kelly's gonna warm up in the truck. She's frozen. Yes. And then uh, you guys will join us in the morning. And who's coming? AJ's coming. AJ Hoffman is coming in the morning. Look at her just smiling. She wants to kill a big buck. It's like the, uh, the bottle's all shook up. All someone has to do is just pop the top and the rut's going to explode all over because the pressure's here. It's all building. They're seeking like crazy. It just, it just hasn't happened. It's like right there on the verge of happening with one hot dough and it just, it hasn't popped off yet. But it's November 1st and it can happen, right? Yep. It's going to happen today. I hope so.
So I'm gonna quick go back to the truck, run to the hotel, go to the bathroom, and then uh, I'm gonna grab my dough and heat because Arthur said that there's seven different bucks down there with him chasing a dough. So I'm gonna go put out the heater on my way back in. Hopefully that'll bring me some luck and bring him up here. Literally seen three, no, I am not, okay, four bucks so far this morning. I'll run around. I'm curious. I just go home, get down, quick run to the truck, and get Dorothy and put on a dough decoy. Up and then, uh, maybe if they see something, the food will come out because they really just stay in the hotel grass. So. November 1st, and I got out here late, but it's a piece of public right here. It's got a little crick in it. It's got a hardwood ridge. It looks really good. I'm going to slip in here and kind of do some still hunting and ground hunting and just scout it out and see if it's something that I want to spend all day in tomorrow or not. Well, I got the double wide back again. I mean, I got the single wide back again. Got her parked on the side here, where it's pretty steep, so I don't anticipate that being an issue for deer travel. There's actually some rock edges right behind me, um, so I think that's good. Now I'm just going to head about a half mile down the road where it settles out and it looks like a spot where the deer would cross, which I think just opens up a lot more potential for deer activity. So yeah, we're gonna ease in here and do some scouting. It's 12.45, it's Monday, November 1st. Someone's sighting in their deer rifle across the road. Um, <clears throat> I've seen seven or eight different bucks this morning, two shooters, one massive, massive 10, and the big fork buck. Uh, they will not respond to calls at all. And the big fork buck has a doe, and there's another hot doe in this section because I saw the massive 10 following one. They disappeared, I haven't seen them since first light. But now there's another hot doe up by Kelly in that buck that looks like he's got a saw blade on one side. And a bunch of two year olds are up there chasing that buck or, or chasing that doe around. That buck that looks like the saw blade, he's got like a big four on one side like a normal eight pointer and the other side he's got a big beam with a bunch of little one inch tines all the way down it so it looks kind of like a saw blade but I'm going to sit here the rest of the night Kelly's got her doe decoy out um, she's been getting circled by bucks like crazy down there so I told her to grab her doe decoy and put her doe decoy out and maybe one's going to come in range for her so hopefully that happens hopefully uh, it'll be forky or that big saw blade looking thing or that massive ten but Looks like all hell's broke loose down here. I feel kind of good about this spot. Here's one of the trails. I've been, I've been crossing these trails for, for a little bit here. I'm gonna follow this, this muddy trail and see if I can find a good intersection and overlook to sit tonight with a good vantage point. 
like I said, I plan on being on this Hardwoods Ridge behind me here, so. What a crazy day. I sat in the stand all day today. I saw 12 different bucks. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm gonna start packing up camera gear, get the decoy down, stash that. And uh, I'm gonna come back to the stand in the morning. So fingers crossed. Tomorrow's the last morning we have out here on our fifth day. Hopefully, Kelly or I can get it done tomorrow.